One of the parts that's currently running in our DS30Y is a, it's an insulator sleeve for high voltage bus systems. It sees over 740,000 volts at 5,000 amps. We do it in two operations in the DS30 and it gets machine complete. The part is seven inches in diameter, 10 inches long with a 30 thousandths wall thickness down throughout the part and we have to maintain 3 thousandths tolerance on that entire part. Once that machine is set up for those tolerances, we never have to make an offset. The Haas will run an 800 piece order with absolutely no offsets. My name's Trevor Schneider. I own Blackstone Valley Machining. We're in Hopedale, Mass. We're your typical job shop. We like to make anything and everything, really. The more complex, the better. We work with all materials, stainless, titanium, zinc canals. So this is one of our complex titanium pieces that we've made. It took about 18 hours of machining. Everything on this part is tighter than a foul tolerance. There's flatness callouts, parallelism. It went through the ST20 and then the VF2YT. This is a, a component for ventilators. During the pandemic, we were tasked to make as many of these as we possibly could, as quickly as we could. So the DS30 made sense because it fit within the realm of the work that we were getting and still could produce a smaller part like this, but it could produce it in one setup versus two setups in a lathe and then transfer to a mill. So one of the common parts we're machining today, it's a simple case, there's, there's quite a few parts involved in this case. We're making about 1,500 a year currently, and it starts with a, a solid block, a 7075 aircraft quality aluminum. The first two operations, we machine 12 of the first ops and 12 of the second ops. The fixture designs that we've had allow us to machine almost lights out throughout the night it not only reduced the cycle time because of the quantity, it reduced wear and tear on the machine because now there's 11 less tool changes per cycle, per part, because we're doing so many on the table at once. Once it leaves off one and two, it goes to the mini mills. We, we currently have two mini mills on our shop floor, so we can do two side ops here, and then when these ops are done, we can lay it down flat and then do the final ops uh, on our last mini mill, so one operator can actually machine this part complete. As a job shop doing 75 to 100 setups a week, the ease of the Haas control along with the probing systems really allow us to maintain a good tight delivery schedule and getting all those setups in. Currently right now, all the Haas machines are using Haas tooling and they've been standing up to the test of time and the punishment that we put them through. I've been a machinist my whole life, so manufacturing is just what we know and what I love to do. Basically how we started as a company is I bought one Haas tool room mill. I was 26 years old. My wife was pregnant with our middle son and it was, it was quite the conversation. We snuck it in my garage down in my basement at home. I always knew I was capable of machining and I knew I could machine well, so I just, I took the plunge and I wanted to get into it for myself. I wanted to control my own destiny. One of the coolest features that, about Haas right now is they're constantly coming up with new technology and new types of machines to stay current and relevant in the machining manufacturing world. So we're actually having a meeting tomorrow coming up with Haas Trident and applications to go over what's the next best move for Blackstone Valley machining.